In this video, let's discuss how to use our platform effectively and efficiently based on your level, situation, or time. Because we have designed our platform for all levels and situations you might find yourself in. If you have already booked a seat, this approach will be a very effective way to complete your preparation with med revisions efficiently because this approach is based on our research and reviews from past exam candidates. More importantly, you will not feel that the material is lengthy, as this method will help you retain information better. Okay, so let's take a step-by-step -step approach when you are studying. Firstly, ensure you know the high-yield questions and recent PLAB 1 exam-style questions, also known as recall questions. It is vital for you to know these questions before you study any further because in the PLAB 1 exam, past exam questions tend to repeat more often than not. So the next step is to decide when you are going to refer to the notes, that is, before answering the questions or after answering the questions. We recommend you answer the questions first because first time learning via questions helps with memory retention. But some doctors felt skimming through the revision notes first and then answering all the high yield questions was more efficient for them. Let's discuss both methods in this video. If you choose to answer the questions first, you can easily filter the high yield and recalls questions with a click of this button. If you choose to refer to the notes first, you will not be able to filter only high yield notes. However, when you attempt the questions linked to the note, you can use the same high yield questions filter. We recommend reading the explanations thoroughly when you attempt the questions. This is because we continue to improve them to help you understand the concepts behind the question better and reduce the need to refer to the study notes provided. Sometimes you may wonder why we provide the revision notes. Well, it is primarily for doctors who need a bit of extra information for a deeper understanding of a specific topic. However, if you are on a schedule and have time, you can read the notes after completing all the questions. We constantly update our notes to align with the latest guideline and new clinchers are added often. Because PLAB 1 exam is a knowledge-based exam, the extra information you find in our notes will help you answer questions which are out of the norm. But remember to finish the high-yield information first. With this method, we want you to finish the high-yield questions with explanations first. After you have completed a subject, you can skim through the revision notes highlighted parts and the key points, which include high-yield clinchers, and then start attempting timed mock exams. If you choose to skim through the revision notes before answering the questions, you can read the specific note from the library and answer all the questions linked to it, and start with the high-yield questions before you move on to the low-yield ones. Alright, so the next steps discussed in this video will be the same for both methods. So now you will have to start attempting mock exams and while you are attempting them, ensure you continue to revise your mistakes via spaced repetitive learning in our Smart Revision program. Remember revising your mistakes are important. You can also use this time to revise the bookmark questions. Don't forget that you can reattempt any question you got wrong through the Smart Revision program or the ones you add as bookmarks because it might add more value. If you finish all the mock exams provided, you can reset them with the archive button for free and attempt them again. When you are have a mock, these questions will go back into the available pool of questions. When you create a new mock, the questions will be picked randomly from the available pool of questions. This ensures that you will not get the same mock twice. Therefore, your mock exam scores will more accurately reflect your understanding of the topics provided. In your mock exam, target an average score of 70% or more. We understand that repetitive learning is important to get used to the exam question pattern and to master the basic concepts behind a clinical question. Therefore, we enabled unlimited mock exam resets to help you achieve this. When you start scoring above 70% in your mock exams, complete the remaining low yield questions and if needed and time is available to you, you can revise the key points in the revision note again. If you already have an exam date, pre-plan the number of questions you will have to attempt in a day based on the time available to you. But always ensure to improve your daily target so that it will enable you to have extra time for revision. You can also read the article about how to use our platform effectively. Follow the first link in the description below. Similar to thousands of doctors who used our platform and passed on their first attempt, we hope to see you pass the PLAB 1 exam on your first attempt. We wish you the best of luck with your upcoming exam.